Hello. It's so inspiring, all these wonderful stories. Um, my name is Justin Phillips, and I am the founder and executive director of Overdose Lifeline. We are an Indiana-based nonprofit dedicated primarily to stopping the uh, stigma attached to the chronic disease of addiction and stopping the deaths of overdose from opioids. In October of 2013, my son Aaron Sims was 20 years old when he overdosed on heroin and passed away. At the time, our first responders were just beginning to carry naloxone, the overdose reversal drug, but they didn't have any money to do that. So I started the nonprofit primarily for two reasons, to raise money for naloxone, which is the overdose reversal drug, and to prevent the first use. There was no prevention education directly addressing opioids, and we unfortunately are in a terrible epidemic. Overdose from prescription pain medicine and opioids is the leading cause of death in the whole United States. So we now have an, a law named after my son Aaron's law, which allows for layperson access to naloxone, which means anyone in Indiana can have the overdose reversal drug in their home. We have been providing naloxone to first responders across the state of Indiana. We've probably distributed about 5,000 naloxone kits, and we've educated approximately 9,000 students on the dangers of opioid experimentation. So we're a young organization, um, but I feel really blessed to have this opportunity to save another family from the experience that I had and to put a voice um, so that addiction can be treated like a chronic disease that it is, the same as all other chronic diseases. Thank you.